who is Butch. They're talking about uh, DJ and producer Barbara Butch, an LGBTQ plus icon who calls herself, quote unquote, the love activist. Butch was wearing a silver headdress that looked like a halo as she got the party going on a footbridge across the Seine. Drag artists, dancers, and others flanked her on both sides. This is according to a CBS News correspondent by the name of Elaine Cobb reporting the specific part of the ceremony that caused the offense, she says, was in fact a scene depicting Dionysus, the Greek god of wine. It was reportedly based on the Feast of the Gods, a 17th century painting by Dutch artist Jan Harmens van Bilgert that hangs in the Magnum Museum in Dijon, Eastern France. The painting depicts an assembly of Greek gods on Mount Olympus for a banquet to celebrate the marriage of Thetis and Peleus. The figure seated at the table in the center in the center has a halo of light behind his head. Thomas Jolly, the opening ceremony director, insisted in an interview with Francis BFM TV that, quote, the Last Supper was not the inspiration behind the scene, explaining that Dionysus arrives at the table because he is the Greek god of celebration adding that the particular sequence was entitled festivity. That's what it said. It also goes on to say Dionysus arrives at the table because he is the Greek God of celebration. The idea was to create a big pagan party in link with the God of Mount Olympus. And you will never find in me or in my work, any desire of mocking anyone. My wish isn't to be subversive, nor to mock or to shock. Most of all, I wanted to send a message of love, a message of inclusion and not at all to divide. So as the late, great Joe Madison from Urban View Radio on Sirius XM channel 126, who passed away a few months ago after a lengthy batter, battle with cancer, God rest his wonderful soul. He's in heaven watching all of us right now. What a good man he was. To steal his phrase, to put it where the goats can get it. What you were really aiming for for the LGBTQ plus community to be embraced. Fair enough. Got no problems with that. But you do understand while that appeals to an abundance of people the world over, it also serves to alienate a bunch of folks the world over. And in America, there's an election that's about to take place. Why you think Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, opened his mouth? So, once again, we can sit up there and see that, and we talked about how the games are supposed to be about the games. And since there's athletes from all over the globe descending upon one venue to compete up, uh, 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 against one another, one would think that's inclusionary enough. The message of inclusion was sent. But we got to take it to another level, right? Right? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying there's tens of millions of people who will. And why would you want to take that risk when elections are coming up? See, a lot of times in life, we want our cake and we want to eat it too. And what I mean by that is that we want it all. All at once. My attitude would have been looking at the political landscape, the potential fallout from such a scene and an event. And I would have deduced in my mind how advantageous this is or how problematic it could be. That's just me. Because I want the results that I want. Not just to speak, not just to vent, not just to just express myself. I want the results I want. And that's what I think got lost in all of this. Every single word they said, I don't think can be disputed in terms of their intent. So why didn't you tell us beforehand? 
Surely you must have had an idea that people would have reacted to this. You had conservatives talking about how they had their children watching the opening ceremonies and didn't know that's what they were going to see. And I saw some of the dancing. I'm an adult. I saw some of the dancing that was going out there. I saw somebody, just because you paint somebody in blue don't mean they ain't naked. That person that was in blue was naked. Am I lying? Am I lying? Nope. They were naked. There was no warning here. It's not required for the adults. I get that part. But opening ceremony of the Olympics, you know a bunch of people were watching that with their children. And some people don't want their children seeing that. Whether you like it or not, folks have a right to want their children to see and not see what they choose. I don't have a problem. Remember, I'm a conservative with my dollars. I'm a liberal every other way. I'm liberal. I get it. I'm, I'm cool. But I know tens of millions of conservatives won't be.